Welcome to Hammered and Cheese, episode 17. Um, I can only tell you, people, that uh, prepare to be enraged uh, is, is the only explanation for this evening. Uh, we are doing an Irish etouffee. I'm going uh, to two for, two for wine here. Oh, and we're going for wine? All Big right. Of wine. Very fancy. So if you don't know etouffee, there's a, I pulled it up on Wikipedia. It says... It's a dish found in both Cajun and Creole cuisine, typically served with shellfish over rice. The dish employs a technique known as smothering, a popular method of cooking in the Cajun and Creole area of southwest Louisiana. Ejave is the most popular in New Orleans. It's a big, it's one of my mom's favorite dishes. It's yeah, one it just basically means um, smothered. Smothered. Yeah. So, so that's a. Uh, when I was, uh, I've, I've been having like a craving for etouffee recently. Yeah. And I was like, well, I've been triggering Dino's wife a lot lately. Why so don't much. I trigger so my mother by using yeah. a dish that like doing it the way that my, my ex, like my, the mother of my child would do it. Cause this is going to yeah. piss my mom off. So like. It's, the idea is offending <laughs> as many women as possible. Right. I, I, oh my God. Oh, just, just women. Yeah. I want to get it to everybody, but yeah. you know, one just thing at a time. Wait your turn. It's it's coming. Don't exactly. worry. It's coming. Don't worry about that. Okay. So typically, be typically this dish is over rice. That's a big thing mm -hmm. in uh, southeast Louisiana. That's um funny. I guess I don't know. Is it French too? Is it a big thing in France? Because this is a, this is it's a. I don't know. It's a big. It's a French dish typically, or it's a French inspired dish. But I'm gonna take my potatoes. This is what's gonna mostly make it Irish. Boom, boom. Throw them in there. This water's been boiling Boiled second potatoes. already. Boiling potatoes, people. We're classy that way. And Joey <laughs> commented, "Didn't the show used to be on Tuesday?" Well, Joey. I was actually on another show yesterday that taped uh, and will be released on uh, Sunday. So look out so, for that. Suck a dick. I made I made a spanakopita quiche. Ooh. And it actually turned out pretty good. It was a little, I may have put a little too much salt because there was a lot of salt in the feta cheese. So I didn't really have to, but. It so was, you're I, cooking I, now, but you can't cook for this show? I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm here to watch you destroy our heritage with the potato eater bullshit. <laughs> I it's mean, my mother, everyone. Her yes. name is Grayson, apparently. And immediately was like right to a thousand. Um, but yeah. So next thing oh. I want to do is immediately up my vegetables. Angry. Yeah. She must have just got on because I was talking shit a second ago. I know. She heard her name, like Beetlejuice, and was like, that's it. I'm here. No problem. But yeah, so on uh, Sunday, it's going to be released. It's a friend of mine. Her name is Kelly Zimnikas. Uh, She has a cooking show called uh, It'll Be Fine, a baking show. I think it's, uh, it's It'll Be Fine is the thing. But yeah, we made food. It was great and delicious. So your friend, did they talk about, uh, did you talk about having them come on? Some yeah, point? yeah. She's, she was saying for uh, sometime in February she's going to come on. She likes baking too. So I was like, I was thinking we might do a dessert type thing. That works because I don't know shit about baking. So I like to be out of my element when we have guests. Yeah. As a matter of fact, every time we had a guest, I had no idea what the fuck we were making so far. But it, but turned, out, it turned out every time pretty good, right? Like that's yeah. pretty wild. I like that. All right, Joey says I'm still at Scouts. I can't hear you though. I might eat cheese later though. Like, like you guys. What is it? Is that the bar? Uh, it sounds like it. It's Wednesday, bro. <laughs> you got a family. Yeah, go home. Watch TV or something. Jesus. Right. Tell your tell your family members you love them. Yeah, I I mean, like that's not a bad idea. Fuck, hey. these onions are killing me, bro. I cut onions the other night, and I was like, "Oh, this is so bad." 
And it depends on how fucking good the onions are. That's how you know they're good onions. Well, so true. I deliberately skipped the intro because I was saying prayers of forgiveness for my eldest to the Creole God. I what mean, that? that's smart. That's a smart move. Who is my uh, mom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She knows how to talk shit. She was, listen, I, I like to tell people that. Like, I'm like, listen, if you're going to travel, uh, I will kill uh, three chickens for you. You will have no problems on your uh, travels. It is a blessing. Uh, Joey says, if Clay accidentally severs a digit, I already got the GoFundMe ready. Absolutely. Fuck yeah. Why don't you just give me the fucking GoFundMe money just in, just now? And I can use it as an investment instead of fucking, like, well, you know I don't what? need a finger, but I need some money. Shit. Right, we all need money. What's up, Surge? Uh, this is going to be good. So yeah. now we got our green pepper. Now, green. evidently, in Louisiana culture, because ev because it, evidently it has its own culture. God, they're so cunty over there. Um... They're like pretentious as hell. Oh, it's Louisiana. Like, it's the poorest state ever. Mm -hmm. Whatever. In America. It's the probably the I've worst never, state. Um, never, anyway. Never been. I want to go. I'll get back to talking shit here in a minute. <laughs> but, um, like, there's what's called the Holy Trinity, which everybody has one. Damn, these onions are fucking me up still. Um,. Damn, fucking drinking and crying and shit. Like, you thought I could go through a breakup. <laughs> you're having an emotional situation. And you're like, I I'm am really very crying and nice drinking cool. wine, bro. I mean, <laughs> you're like, you are a woman. Congratulations. Right. Uh, you are now, you're trans. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm not uh, binary. You, you're, you can get woman of the year right now, though. Let's go for it. I'm cooking. Yeah, I'm cooking. I, I'm drinking wine. I'm crying. I started my own cooking empire. I've, uh, you know, been working through things and trying to be a better person. <laughs> Serge getting ready for work. Hope people show up today. Whoop. Fuck them. Yeah. You got to do your I, best regardless. Your mom Don't, don't worry about said, other people. Bro, your mom just said, yo, I voodooed those onions. So, I don't doubt it. That was the sacrifice was your eyes, bro. <laughs> I mean, uh, that seems reasonable. Well, could you like maybe make a voodoo doll of me and Scarlett Johansson and like put them next to each other? Just bang. while you're at it, mom. Give me a fucking solid for once. Ha haunt her dreams. That's fair. That's all. Oh, that's I mean, like that's the kindness. Mick T says I spent the weekend at an 87 year old and 94 year old's wedding. They spent their honeymoon getting out of the car. I was high enough to be embarrassing like a wet fart in the dress. I mean, there's a lot to unpack in that statement, Mick. So, uh, yeah. Bro. Way to support old people and their uh, escapades. It's funny that, uh, that the highest rate of STDs uh, are in old age homes. Old Asia? Old age homes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because apparently old people just like to bang. It's weird. Yeah, uh, you, you wouldn't think, huh? Because they're always all like like weird. Yeah, everybody wants to pretend they were a saint, and then when it gets down to it, they're like, I just want to go bang something. You're, well, you're, yeah, if, it, if they were a saint, you wouldn't be here. You know? Bunch of whoas. Voodoo dolls are not actually a thing that's purely Hollywood bullshit. That sounds like deflection. And yeah, it does. He has that's four it. of them. All of them are pointed at you. So. Correct. I, fun. I mean, I feel like life is a Scooby Doo show every once in a while. I've seen the fuck out of Scooby Doo. I don't give a fuck. You lying to me. And cheers to you, Mick T, and to Surge. It's very exciting. Good so, uh, if you aren't quite caught up to what I was just doing, uh, I just diced some onions, I diced some green bell pepper. Um, and then in the Holy Trinity of Louisiana, that's uh, you have onions, green bell pepper, and celery. That's the holy, tr literally the holy trinity. That's what they call it. Uh, I think it's weird, but like that's essential to this dish, evidently. All right. Kyle's jumped in and said, So I guess there's still hope for me to get married. There's always hope, sir. 
That is just how life is. Don't forget the Death Pool Friday. Oh, yeah. So uh, Square Table Degenerates is doing a Death Pool on Friday. Joey, can you write in what time uh, it's going to be starting? I got to send you 10 bucks. I'm not going to send you 10 bucks. I'm just going to get in for free because I'm a loser. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it this year. So I, like, it was kind of like not my favorite thing. I want to I want to participate, but I don't want to do anything. Seriously, <laughs> study the culture. Voodoo is much more involved than goofy ass dolls. I mean, I appreciate that knowledge, uh, Cole's mom, but uh, I have to admit that uh, that is terrifying. Uh, John, I'm going to dig into some cheese soon, bro. Che snacking cheese is great. Okay? Like, well, like just like crackers and cheese or like cheese dip. Like what's going on here? Queso, like you got a I, pretzel, like what's going on here? And cheers to you, John. You know what I did once was um, a long time ago. So we're making etouffee, Irish etouffee. So we have started boiling potatoes, and now we're making a something on that goes on top. So, but I remember a long time ago, I made a beer and cheddar dip. Ooh, and it was so good. Beer cheese is fucking delicious. Super delicious. And I like did it like I didn't have enough going, but it was still going. It was it, and it was still really good. There's never it enough. More like a, it was more like a spread instead of a dip, but still delicious. Yeah, bro. We're no people are watching. Thank you, everyone. We really appreciate. It. Please like, uh, like the share and the subscribe. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate oh. you guys. Thank you. We appreciate you. In all honesty, what we would like to do is this every single day, just cooking one dish. We would go viral. Cool. Just Actually, if I can do that. If I can make that happen. Oh, bro. Okay. Uh, I was at Kyle's house the other day, and uh, we did uh, mushrooms, and it was fantastic. Kyle has a house? Yeah, bro, Kyle has a pad. That's yeah. crazy. He just Kyle's... gives me homeless vibes. Just... No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So I was he over like, at his place. hangs out in alleys. Just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. I mean, I'm more so than him. That's Yeah, I know. He's he's too noticeable. The Anyway, so uh, he had me try this whiskey. And it's peanut butter whiskey. And bro, it was That's been delicious. become real popular recently. And beer. Peanut butter beer. Oh, I would love peanut butter beer. In all honesty, like the idea of being allergic to peanuts, and I'm like, that is horrible. That's a horrible idea. Right. I don't like peanuts, but I'm not allergic. To I love peanut butter. That's, uh, how could you not? You're like, bro, I there has been times where I'm like, yo, just a spoonful of peanut butter. I'm like just on a spoon. Just um and just eat it. Kyle says that's king of the alley to you, Cole. <laughs> king of the alley. Well, uh, I don't think I ever was uh, implying you weren't king of the alley. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I mean, emperor of the least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That peanut butter whiskey was called Screwball. And honestly, it was so, it was super, super smooth. <laughs> What's that? Pe people will say, Hi. hello. Hi. What's up, Jack? You know how people would be like, oh, it's very smooth? And I'm like, no, this is actually very smooth. It's quite delicious. See if you can find it, people. It's called Screwball. And I'm sure it's... Screwball? Uh, what is that? Wherever fine liquors are sold. All right, so uh, the next thing you want to do here is take... This, the Most recipes say unsalted butter, but we're gangsters here. Gangster. This is salted, all right. We're gonna melt this down at about medium heat. Oh, there's a little bit of butter wax. What That's butter wax paper? Well, that will happen. We're gonna let that melt down and do this oh. thing. We're kind of uh doing our thing. Next thing we need to do is I almost forgot while we're at it. I wish we would get this. Is another paper. Irish component here? Ooh. It is our fingers. Bangers for uh, you British, Irish, UK fucks. She's who's, who's uh, what's his what's his name? Uh, Mick T. Mick T. Yeah, he's is he still watching? Yeah, yeah, I think they're so. bangers. Um, of course, I, you probably don't like, like Irish people. I, Kyle, could you imagine if we got sponsored by Screwball? I'm like, I would do shots. I would do shots for Super Chats. Like, that would totally, and I'm like, I, and I would go through a bottle. I'm like, no problem. Now, what is Screwball? It's a peanut butter whiskey. 
Oh, was it? Oh, okay. So the thing you had to try. Yeah, it was super good. And then I was like, I'm like, can I have another shot? He's like, okay. And he's like, yeah, it's actually really hard to find. I was like, ah, I don't care. Give me it. <laughs> we, we should look into smaller, uh, young, like I don't know, up and coming liquor companies, uh, in the yeah. in the coming future, to try and get sponsorships. Absolutely. I'll drink to that. Even Absolutely. if they just give us samples. I'm, like in realistically, like even if it's not a big deal, I'd be like, yeah, just we'll sample it on your our show. All right. Just try it out. Mix with the cuisine. And there is Zavina. He's going to mutilate Zavina for ah. everyone to see. Okay. Oh, it even looks like a wiener now. Just just oh my god, you're a horrible person, sir. You're a horrible, evil, evil, dirty sausage cutter. Is what you're you like it. Pure evil. Pure evil. You're a horrible human being, sir. I'm going to throw this in the oven just to get it kind of nice and crispy. Those beans have been mutilated. Yeah, maybe some glue companies for coal. I mean, I'm down. Elmer's, hit me up. Bro, absolutely. Elmer's is top tier. Gorilla. Oh, gorilla. I would definitely love to use more gorilla tape. Like, I would like to build like a raft out of gorilla tape just to see what happens. <laughs> like, I just, uh, I'm trying to save on school supplies for my kid. Also, true. <laughs> I remember like getting ready for school. Like you would get like new uh, uh, colored pencils and like crayons and like dumb shit that you would never fucking use. Yeah, right. And you're like, I'm all set for within a week. That shit was all over the place. Right. And I'm like, bro, fucking disgusting. Like the people that I knew that had that shit the whole semester or the whole year, and I'm like, yo, you're a serial killer. For you sure. know what? Well, you know what bothered has always triggered me. Whether I was a kid, what's up, buddy? When I'm a YouTuber, I want to be called Jack TV. Okay. We'll come. We'll we'll talk about that when we get to it. All right. Okay. Right now, I'm cooking though. Okay. okay. All right. Go do your thing. That is both the most epic and horrible name he could have chosen. Right. It's just like pretty, it. pretty plain, but, you know, he's eight, so. Well, that's, no, it's not that it's plain. It's more so you're like, ah, you're getting into a lot of dangerous area. I like it. <laughs> Kyle says, I want Cole to style his hair with Gorilla Glue. I mean, definitely. Um, I it's going to be like, like um... What is it? Uh, along came Polly. That scene. You know what scene? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, that lady still had to have surgery and like hair grafted to her scalp. I'm like, that's uh -uh. up, bro. What was I saying a second ago? I was saying something. I don't know. I forgot. Kids oh, kids! You know what's always triggered me? Like even when I was a kid, but even even more so now that I'm an adult. It's like. Am I really learning anything if one of my major school supplies is colored pencils? I don't think so. I'm not learning shit, bro. <laughs> oh, Highlighters, I... maybe. Highlighter? Uh... Co colored pencils? Like, I would always carry a pen with me. Like, that was like, okay, I'm ready. Pen, pencil, whatever. Yeah. But I know, just like, okay, I would just take I'm not here to fucking draw, bro. I mean, unless it's art class, but. They don't make you take that till like tenth grade. No. <laughs> no, but like even that, I'm like, no, you shouldn't be taking art. You should be taking like design and architecture and stuff like that. Like that's what you should be taking. Art is an elective. That's you should like the least time should be spent on that. I like this episode. Cole really does seem drunk. He really does, doesn't he? And I am also pretty high right now. So you know what it was is I uh I went ahead and pre-gamed. With some of Joey Edibles' weed. Oh! Cole's back in the fold. Right. All right. Hey, Dad. What's up, Cody? No, you're not going to take over the show. You're not going to take over the show. Go do your thing. You can come back and try it later. But you're not going to be a little ham. Mm. That's my job. Mm. I got my own show. You need to work up to it. Bro, as <laughs> you're putting him in his place, you're like, yeah, listen. Listen, boyo. It is my time. And I'm, right. I'm sure he hasn't talked to you the whole day. Yeah, right? no, he wasn't fucked with me. I didn't tired it. Since I picked him up from school, he's like, 
But as soon as I'm on, on YouTube, he's like, you're on YouTube? Let me talk about my potential YouTube career. Yeah. But you're like, you know what? Like, that's a real thing. Redheaded chick. U-Haul, you missed the show on uh, New Year's Eve. We had her on uh, Generation Dancer. It was very enjoyable. These potatoes are getting very close to done. The potatoes have suffered enough. I'm giving another two, three minutes. What do you have Generation Dan? Do that to get this melted butter ready to go in. I can't tell if that's really good butter or really gross butter. It's good sure. butter, man. So you want to throw about a cup of flour in here? And you're just making a roux? Yeah. I'm going to throw a little the tiniest bit of uh, cornstarch in there as well. Just because. Yeah, I know. You should put a little bit. It adds a lot of depth to your base. Now, which whisks do you think I should use? Jesus. Don't two hand whisk it, bro. Like you just you're just gonna trigger everybody. And you yeah. gotta stay on fucking top of this roof. Because it will burn fast. You want it to whisk it until it's like a nice like dark dark tan. Light brown, whatever you want to call it. Like a a dark gold. Like an amber. A little darker than gold. Like amber? Isn't it amber red? No. Well, then I don't know. It's like a bronze kind of color. I also want to throw a little flavor in there. Absolutely. Oh, Always remember, oh, when you're making a roux, you really have onion. the opportunity to add some depth to the flavor, right? Because that's the base, and then it blows up with everything else that you're mixing in, right? The salt... The color of Brampton. <laughs> what is it? So where Kyle and I grew up has I a predominantly Southeast that. Asian community. So it's uh, uh, predominantly like that. So it should resemble peanut butter. Once again, peanut butter is back in the conversation, people. Boom. It should look like peanut butter, Cole. That was the idea for your room. I guess peanut butter would be a good... Yeah, I guess so. My, you know, it's always a callback, right? It's always, bro. Your mom knows; she can tell the future. Uh. Now, if you notice, because I'm smart, I took my roux and put it over the top of my mashed potatoes and used it as a lid. Because a, I don't have lids, and b, why do I need lids? <laughs> All right, see you later, Serge. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Later, later, Serge. You have a good one, man. Yeah, have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Be safe out there. In there. I don't know what you do. I forget. You told me, but I'm an idiot and a little high, so I have no idea what's going on. But hey. <sighs> this is going good. I got my sausage in the oven. Next thing, while we're letting that do its thing. I want to, now's a great time because I don't want to do it too fucked up, but I have some shrimp. <gasps> you know, this that's what like is the most necessary. Okay. You know, it makes it most the Louisiana shit. And I want to brine the shrimp. I'm brining um, the shrimp? Jesus. And by brining it, I'm just going to take some pickle juice. All right. Kyle just said, this is the only show I watch live, and we appreciate you, Kyle, because you're a magical person. Oh, thank, you. Uh, thank you, Kyle. I appreciate yeah. that. It's a fun experiment, right? Like, Because you're just trying to cook new things. Take a little bit of garlic. Garlic, okay. I thought it looked like baby food. I'm like, that's weird to add to a recipe, but okay. Yeah, I know. I had to make sure. Y'all knew what the fuck was that. Throw my shrimp in there. Alright. And then I'm going to take What's left of my fucking, my old, beautiful rum. Jesus. All right. Let that sit right up in there. Boom, boom. That's just going to chill in there. That is toxic. That is so... <laughs> I don't know. 
know, bro. This is the Gulf of Mexico, man. You, you got me questioning life with this recipe. It's Irish. It's Irish. It's alcoholic. And it's Gulf. It's fucking it's... Sailor Jerry, man. All right, right. Like, we are breaking down those barriers of cuisine, people. That is uh, what we're doing today. We're doing shit wrong because it's so goddamn right. Bro, that, well, that's just that's how we go. Okay. Life is a horseshoe. Dino is sponsored by Costco. Five Costco's five dollar chickens. <laughs> hey, them chickens are good, no, sport, bro. They're like I'm this fuck is big, bro. bro ah, I, they burned me. Okay, hold on, Cole. But you see, like I have a Costco shirt on. Like I got a hoodie from. Oh, there. I didn't even notice. That's hilarious. So, I want one. Like, they got those at Costco. Bro, so I got it, and like it's not Kirkland brand, it just says Costco, and I'm like, I love it. It's so even better much. than Kirkland brand, but it's like it's so warm and everything, like it's a good fucking hoodie. I have a Costco membership, I don't ever go in there, bro. You it charge me $120 a year in it's April, worth it, and I it's never go. It. You got it. Like, go. Every April, I'm like, ah, it's almost my birthday, they just took money out of my pocket. You know what you should do is you go to Costco and what you do is like this is this is how you make your mother love you, okay? Is you go there and you're like, yo, they have a deal on XYZ. Do you want some? And they will be like, What? There's a deal? I'm in. I'm in. I'm like, bro, I love going to Costco. But at the same time, like I need a, I need a bigger freezer. Actually, I need to go through my freezer and and make some space. And then I need a deep freeze, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Because we got like a chest freezer, and the, there's a freezer in the fridge upstairs. But I'm like, I need, I want to, I want, I actually wanted to buy a freezer full of meat as well. I got, I'm, I got, I got a, I got a chest full of meat board. Hey man, don't you talk dirty to me, filthy pervert? Right, the potatoes are boiled. Just almost, about. Almost. So we're gonna take that, do his thing, dump that right in there. I'm gonna let that cool down, then I'm gonna move that over here. I. Ah, it's so hot. Steam burns. So sometimes you should actually save some of that water, but. The Don't want to do. Potatoes in Greece or Canada? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We eat potatoes. Yeah, absolutely. And Greece, potatoes everywhere. That's everywhere. Yeah. yeah, potatoes have conquered the world, sir. Pretty much. I don't. Like, think... We don't really like these Irish people. We really like their food. Well, th see, this is the weird thing is that um, uh, because potatoes are North American, right? So. Same with tomatoes. Yeah. I mean, I know they grow here. They grow everywhere. But, like, did, did they originate over here? Yeah, no, they, they originate here, not over there. Really? So then yeah. what the fuck was up with the potato famine then? Oh, it just became a staple, and it was a whole thing, and then, you know. Interesting. When it, when so we became... brought them over there, and then they are like, these are our food. I don't even know. People talk about the potato famine, and I have no idea what it was. I'm like, that sounds... I don't know, yeah. It, it sounds like an not, oxymoron. It's actually the opposite of potato famine. They actually had potatoes. They did everything else that was a famine. I need Atlas to explain it to me. But Atlas history. would know, but Atlas, Atlas would know. isn't the best guy to explain stuff to me because I zone out. That also is true. He can explain it to me though. I'm uh not of uh, I'm not retarded. So that's why <laughs> you gotta explain it to me. And then I can explain you it give to me the paraphrase. I'm a linguist, okay? I uh, I can speak Greek, so I just I can uh, bring it up or bring it down. I'm like I can be fancy Dino, I can be Dino of the streets with my lingo. It's fine. We gotta figure out how to play telephone online. Like we gotta do, like we gotta have Atlas, you and me, and do like a game of telephone and watch as the story changes over time online. As a podcast, that would be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be shenanigans. Right. Oh, man. Like, I might be able to pull that off. I'm not sure, though. What are you adding there? More flour? Black pepper and flour, yeah. I want to thicken this up. 
I do kind of want it kind of doughy now that it's finally got its color. I would love to be sponsored by chickens, Kyle. Like I would, I would if they were like, "Hey, you got to eat a whole chicken every episode." I would eat the whole chicken every episode, like without question. What chicken? Who's chicken? The Costco chicken. Oh yeah, man, that's so good. Their pizza and hot dogs aren't bad either. Their hot dogs are spectacular. Their hot dogs are fucking delicious. The pizza is not bad. The pizza, I don't remember the pizza. We don't have a chicken bake up here anymore. Which that the chicken I'm, bake? Oh, this is so good. chicken bake is so good, bro. And I'm like, they stopped selling it. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, what's your problem? <laughs> and they're like, well, like we just stopped. And I'm like, start again. Stop. Right. Why well, would you do just that? Stop. That's not an answer. Yeah. Throw the tiniest ever little bit of oil in there. And now we light it on fire. All right. All right, while that's cooking, cooking up. All right. We're going to come back to our little shrimpies. Mm. We're going to take our drunk shrimp. Chicken stock. All right. If I can get it open. Yeah. I'm a little retard. As well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're R-worded. I'm R-worded. Throw chicken stock up in there. I don't think you call yourself R-worded. That's ridiculous. R-worded. That's horrible. That's a horrible statement, sir. Is it? Okay. So we have chicken stock and a ridiculously large mug. I love it. We're seasoning. Whatever. Whatever is the, this is garlic garlic powder. Whatever the nice version of uh of retarded is. Je suis en retard. That would be how you said, my friend. Then you are just speaking French. Because that makes sense. What um, happened? My mom yelling at me. About it. For saying so, the R word. I had a stroke and I said some things. <laughs> That's basically. Uh, I threw some it. onion in there, paprikas. Some paprika. Some essential. I've been adding cayenne to a lot of things, and uh, it's yes. uh, not that bad. Brown red pepper. I can't add it to my food because my kid won't eat it. He's here. Otherwise, I would do it. That little shit. Right. I'm going to throw a little cumin in there. That's who I am. Honestly, cumin's a pretty fucking secret ingredient everywhere I go. And then we're going to take this and we're going to try not to put the fucking uh, shrimp in there just yet. But the shrimp's already cooked, so I don't want to overcook it. All right. So we're just going to put the fluid in. Right. Jesus. Just a little bit at a time, I guess. Yeah. Kind of similar to our eggnog that we made. Yeah, 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 little by little. Just trying to make it. Turn this down. There we go. It looks pretty good. And it does look like peanut butter. Let's go on the record and just know that it does look like peanut butter from here. Okay. Uh, no. Cullen was yelling at you. I just silently did disown you when you sully our family name. That's from oh, your yeah, Cullen's my retarded brother. Uh, well, that's, there you go. He <laughs> doesn't like that word, evidently. Evidently, yeah. that's a shame. I'm like, yeah. I'm representing my people. Yeah, well, apparently uh, your family has disowned you uh, because of your cooking uh, haberdashery, dashery, uh, uh, just pirate ways of the kitchen. You're I don't know everything I'm not supposed to. You have gone from a land pirate to a kitchen pirate, sir. Even better. Easy, easy. Don't splash about, sir. I'm splashing the. I'm pretty fucking lit right now. Stop your splashing, you son of a bitch. Let's get some bubbles going. Come on. Nope, Didn't you just turn it down? Shouldn't you turn it up? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what like I need you, to do. I feel like your mom knows how to throw hands. Bro, nobody has hit me harder than my mom in my life. 
My mom is like literally a strong man. man. Like now, you know how you say some people hit like a man. She hits like a man. My mom hits like a strong man. Okay, all right. But nah. I don't wish that on anyone. Like I ain't so, even fucking playing, bro. I've been hit by grown <laughs> men. My mom hits harder. Bro. Yeah. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, I don't like punching people in the face, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, it, that's a mistake. It's gonna hurt a lot. I'm like, I have like giant fucking monkey hands, and I'm like, yeah, you don't want. I'm like, at the same time, I will just palm your entire face, like some sort of fucking audio giant move. So, don't turn it up low and slow, bro. Low and slow. Low and slow. That is the key. The key, people, is roast your nuts, never Got use it. almond extract, and low and slow. Okay? Take your time. Embrace. That's for me. So now we're going to get our uh, potatoes going, throw a little milk in there. Boom, boom, boom. We're just going to mash them? Yeah. Boil them, mash them, throw them in a stew. Mm -hmm. Remember this tool? That is just so people know. That's not the tool. It's really not. The tool. Like technically, it does work, so you can't call it stupid. But it is not the tool. It is not the appropriate tool. What tool would you use then? A potato masher. This is. It's got the the divots. No, that is a meat tenderizer, sir. Okay. Now you are breaking up the potatoes, so it's like it technically is working, but at the same time. We're going to come back to our old trusty friend. No. Listen, he is the best. I love how people are like, oh, so you take one tablespoon. He's like, just dump the motherfucker right in there. Just boom, 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 Whatever boom. Whatever comes out, you know. Yeah. Take it's our gonna, butter. Listen, if you have a problem, it's going to be garlicky. All right. That's what, that's what you're going to have. So, if you're allergic to garlic. Yeah. Sucks to be you. Don't Don't stick with my recipe. That's no. Honestly, do stick with it and then like enjoy the garlic. And then we're gonna hit our garlic salt. Garlic salt, as one does. I think my wife got that as a gift from somebody. We're excited. We're gonna use it in uh, one of our recipes. Your wife did what now? Somebody gave her garlic salt as a gift, like fancy garlic salt. What makes it fancy? I don't know. What, you think I'm a fucking uh, knower of salt things? The word eludes me. A connoisseur of salt? No. No, I'm not, sir. I'm just a guy who knows his way around a meal. Oh, are we going to have to add more chicken salt stock? I'm very hungry right now. I am too. That's because you're a bad person, though. That's why? That's what makes me a bad person? I mean... It is triggering watching you pummel that thing. But at the same time, it is working. So we're just going to have to live with it. Oh, and my brother Grayson's here today. And he likes to bitch about peel being in the potatoes. So, I'm like, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, he doesn't like it with the peel? No, he thinks it's, he says that's dirt. I'm like, it's not dirt. He's like, why is it brown then? That's racist. Right. Oh, right. Wait. If it wasn't fancy, it would just be an asshole giving someone garlic salt as a gift. Exactly. That's it, right? Like, that's not a good gift. But if it's fancy, you're like, oh, ooh. beautiful. We do fancy things. Uh, actually, so today, so yesterday I did a cooking show, guys. It's called uh, um, It'll Be Fine. Is it uh, on YouTube? It's on YouTube, and it's going to okay. air. I, I will share it on my channel as. as somehow i don't know how to do that yeah send me the info about it yeah and uh but uh i made a spanakopita pie so essentially like spinach actually it was more like a spanakopita quiche so it was like all the fillings of a spin uh, spinach pie and then also egg and it, it actually was is not perfect but uh, i am onto something so you gotta uh, teach me how to make it on this show yeah we can do that next week Next week, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like it's a pretty solid recipe, and like you can have it for like the whole week. 
I like spinach and coke, but uh, whatever it's called. I don't like it. It's good. I don't know what to call it, but it's like just call call it spinach pie. That's fine. Spinach pie, got it. Spinach it's like it's like pho. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's still good. Bro, okay, Kyle. Okay, so as because I was on, uh, it'll be fine. It's the fifth time I've been on that show. Uh, Kelly, the the host, gave me a spatula as a gift today because we went out for lunch. Because a friend of mine is visiting Toronto, so we got together. We went for lunch. We had a beautiful lunch. It was wonderful. Uh, but now Kyle is like, I've been on four times, and he wants my spatula. I'm like, that's absolutely not so. That is my spatula. You get your own spatula. <laughs> I would love garlic salt as a gift. I'm from South Louisiana, yo. We literally collect spices. I mean, also a little bit of witchcraft. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, start using boomer dolls to make you get to make them give you garlic salt. Kyle brings out a good point. Maybe don't make the same thing on two shows in the same week. I mean, that's probably not a bad thing. He's probably in the right thinking. It, that's yeah. He, Kyle is a smart guy. He knows things. He knows stuff. He knows stuff and things. So we should definitely, definitely try to make it. You should try to teach me from memory, like telephone, because it always comes back. That is how it works. And then <laughs> Joey's like commenting on Clay's channel. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck yeah. Interacting. Make sure you guys cross uh, like and subscribe between channels because uh, we appreciate the support. We are the nice people making the nice food. We love it because, like, for some reason, I get all the views and Dino gets all the comments. It's the weirdest shit. I, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> don't be in the next episode while high. Also, I am too high to plan episodes. That's also fair. I'm high as shit right now, Joey. What are you talking it's about? It's also true. It's, it's not witchcraft. Don't test my knowledge, Yankee. I am a Greek, okay? Do not come to me. Uh, I am the king of witches. Do not I, don't think, I don't think Canadian makes you Yankee either. So Also true. I'm not also Yankee. True. I, am, I am Greek. We are better than everyone. Period. <laughs> this is just how it works. And uh, Joey asked, Clay, is that weed good? Pretty good. It's like the way I like it. Because it's like, it's, uh, I think I read the stats on it. It's like 16% THC. You know, it's 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 considered a mid weed to most people. To me, mid is good because I don't. I'm not trying to fucking get like ridiculously stoned out of my mind. I can't do shit. I have I have a kid. And I have to pay bills and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like fucking sixteen percent is perfect. Perfect. I just, I just want my knees and elbows to stop hurting. I, I don't have chronic pain. I'm still young, so shut up, bro. Okay, just fucking go with it, you asshole. Remind me to punch in the face. No, bro. I've been hitting a vape pen all day today. It's been great. I do like I do like CBD. CBD is dope. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's not real weed." I'm like, "I don't want real weed. We real weed is too real weed is too strong." Okay, sweet. I got like half a pound of that, Joey. Why, <laughs> bro? Legalizing weed, they will rue the day. <laughs> Speaking of, how's that rue coming? Almost there. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our shrampies in there, warm them up, and oh, there's still some flavor in there. Bro, Kyle just called you out. He's like, Cole doesn't have pain because he is so short. <laughs> I mean, compared to you and Kyle, yeah, I'm short as fuck. You guys are like. Y'all are made in the lab. We'll right, take our vegetables, so. throw them up in there. We have onions, green peppers. What else? Celery? Celery, shrimp. And about all these sausages are looking fucking delicious. So your mom says anything north of the Mason Dixon line is Yankeeville. That's like not, the, I, don't, I don't think that's true. But that's, yeah. that, I mean, I understand your perspective, but it's, it's also not accurate. Dino is the king of segways, Rue. That's <laughs> also too. That rule looks perfect, baby. You did good. But honestly, it, I, I feel like you, your mom is just looking for brownie points. She's probably going to hit you up for some money. She's, she's like, you did good. No, I got to hit her up for some money. So. Clay hangs out with tall people to make him taller. I feel like... 
I don't nobody, think that's how that works. Because he hangs out with tall people, he wears like lifts and stuff. And then he's like, yeah, see, we're all <laughs> tall. And you're like, hmm. Everybody oh. thinks I'm so short. It's the funniest shit. They're like, you're not really six foot. I'm like, yeah, I am. The funny thing is, I'm like, I know I'm tall. And then I see you and I'm like, you are tall. And, he's, and you're like, yes. And I'm like, yeah, you don't you don't come across as a tall person. Every <laughs> time. No, everybody. They're like, you're not tall. You have. Short, I've been told I have short man energy by women. Multiple which, women. Which, I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? I don't know what it means, but it is accurate. That is not like you don't. You just don't come across as a tall person. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm like, I'm walking beside him down the street. And we're both like. I'm a little bit taller, well, yeah. Like, but it's 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 the weirdest thing where I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, no. I was like, we were walking, and there was a car coming, and I like, stopped him. I'm like, easy, easy, easy. Careful, 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 little boy. You might get hurt by that car. Don't be just. Think. Yeah, Kyle says he and he's not even six one. I mean, that's the cutoff. That's yeah, I'm that's, six foot. He just he just didn't like, make the cut. I'm like a hard six foot though. I'm like six foot. Mm -hmm. Almost six one. I'm not quite six one, but I'm mostly almost a six one. You should start doing what Atlas does, and he just starts telling people he's five nine. Five nine. He's like, yeah, I'm five nine. And people are like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm five nine. No, I really the six foot does a lot of heavy lifting for me. Oh, yeah. Because like, I don't know if you follow my social media, but like, women aren't my biggest fan lately. So. It's because you're a pervert, sir. Let's be and honest. It's not because I'm a pervert. I'm actually the exact opposite of a pervert. I'm like, I'm so far in the opposite lane of pervert. I'm more like, like a lot. I get a lot of incel. Okay. You're an incel. No, I get laid. Sniffing Blue like 22 is the monk of YouTube. Let's calm down. Okay, <laughs> sir. Let's just relax. Joey says, you think he's like 5'8 when you see his posts. I, like, it, right? Like, you're like, think about oh, said, even like 5'10, maybe 5'11, but you're like 6. You're like, no, definitely not 6 foot. Uh, I'm going to be 5'10 now. Bro. Okay, Kyle, if you start telling people you're 5'10, I swear to God, people are going to lose their fucking mind. Because um, Kyle's like a shrugging 6'6. Uh, six, six. Like, he's 6'6 six, six, and he actually like tucks his head in because it's like, it's a thing that tall people do yeah like but, kyle should have played in the nba he's a foreign white guy who's super tall I, the funny thing is when he says it's like if you look if you see a white guy on an nba team he's probably lithuanian which is what kyle is, uh, <laughs> is he really? he's still waxed to oh. 90s skinamax i mean you got to that's only fair i don't oh, even have anymore bro almost died we are towards the fucking end, man. Bruh. Show me them potatoes. All right. So it takes one block. I honestly was waiting for that plate to just snap. Dude, no, these are tough plates, man. I drop them all the time. Two plop. Two. Two plops. Ah, 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 ah. That makes complete sense, people. Take a fucking <sighs> etouffee. It does look actually pretty delicious. Take a little tiniest bit. His uh, cornstarch is purer than any cocaine nowadays. I mean, that's 100%. fair. Take our parsley. A little bit of Paprika, boom. All right, hold on. You got to take a picture of it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll be back. And now I'm going to be by myself for a little while and just have to entertain you all, but just because now we're waiting for the fancy pictures. It's going to be very exciting. I think it, I was honestly terrified by that meal, but at the same time, it looks pretty good. It, it definitely uh, is looking like it'll be something delicious. So I'm hoping it works out. The mashed potatoes look rough, but and eh, what can you do? Mashed potatoes. That's how they work. So but yeah, so I am uh I got my spatula from Kelly for being on her show, which is gonna air on Sunday. And uh yeah, I mean spinach over the peat uh quiche. And uh, I even brought some to Victoria and she tried and she was like, it was a little too salty, but that I'm like I can work with. 
and I gotta switch out. I put too much cayenne uh, because he's, he's not supposed to, but you know, that's what I do. I like to do things like that. All right, we have a picture incoming. Here. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the picture of Irish Etouffee. Ta da! I think that looks pretty good, right? That's impressive. It's got potatoes, it's got some sausages. Man, that looks good. There we go. And sir, as you see, your uh, dish looks delicious. How how is it tasting? How Just does like it mama made it. Like your mama made it. Just like mama made it. Hey man, that works. So you can't get mad because I said that though. Oh, that's fair. Go Jack. Yeah, yeah. Let's get Jack to try it. Try it on the show. Try it. Try it. He's, he's hungry. He's been fucking bitching about wanting to eat. So try it. Come on, try, try it, Jack. It a little bit. It's your little sausage too. Turn the camera down. There mm -hmm. you go. Get it with that toothpick. A little sauce. See the sauce? Yeah. What do you think? I know because you're a little potato eater. You like it? Good. It's good. All right, I'll make you a plate. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Last time I made you potatoes on this show, you were like, "Nah, it ain't it, Dad." <laughs> also, that is true. That is true. We made what vodkas? He was like, "Nah." Your mom says it's not like your mama made it. <laughs> it's hundred percent like mama made it. <laughs> the taste is not there. Like I can't, I can't taste the taste in there. So, you don't like it? I like it. Just the last one, I couldn't taste the taste. Couldn't taste it? The last like, one. That's taste cool. the good taste. Well, boy might have COVID. Nice. There you go. Taste the good taste right. in there. Anyways, do okay. uh, you got anything to plug going on this week? Uh, no, just chilling. But I'm working on the podcast. I got something yeah. in the works of Josh Gurrieri. Our one of our last guests, yeah. Um, but nothing urgent, so nice. All right, guys. So we will be back later this week. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to all of our channels and social media because we do post when we are going live through that stuff, and that way you always know. And also subscribe and 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 share this with every goddamn person you know in the universe. I want you to physically tell them. Plug the Death Pool Friday at five thirty. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So Square Devil pool. Degenerates does a death pool uh, where it's kind of uh, everybody takes a turn to uh, doing it. I forget how you pick the order and everything, but it's at 530. Uh, Call Eastern the draft time. for those of you who oh, know yeah, the yeah. A fantasy draft of who's going to die next year. Ta -da! A little bit morbid. Yeah, well, drastically, but... Uh, that was in last year's. Yeah. I suggest some changes to that, Joey, but we'll talk uh, and thing that out. But yeah, I'm probably going to be on that. I don't know if I'm going to give you any money, but I'm I definitely going to be on. I'm entertaining as fuck. That's what I'm exchanging, you bastard. All right. Anyways, this has been Irish Etouffee. Congratulations, you've been triggered. <laughs> Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>